<laughs> Hope y'all are doing good. Um, so, I went this past Monday and decided to take the whole day and just go thrifting. Um, I found a lot of stuff. Yay! <laughs> so, in January, and I remember this last year when I started my antique booth. Um, in January, here in Kentucky, there are no yard sales. Uh, yard sales usually don't start till probably about April. It just depends on the weather. But from January to April, it's really hard to find stuff. Before I get started, I want to thank everybody for subscribing to my channel and for liking all my videos. My goal this year um, is to reach 500 subscribers. Um, I have 190 right now, so I think over the course of the whole year, um, hopefully I'll reach my goal. <laughs> So if you all like this video, uh, please give me a thumbs up and um, hit the little subscribe if you're not already subscribed and the little bell on the side that notifies you whenever I make a new video. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you everything I got. Um, I did find a pretty good amount of clothes. I'm going to go through the clothes pretty quick because I know that clothes can be boring, but I'm going to go through those pretty quick. Um, if you have an antique booth or you have a, a um, vendor booth, and they allow you to sell clothes. Um, I have found that in uh, the winter months, January and February, is a good time to pick up clothes because it's after Christmas. A lot of people got new clothes for Christmas and they're weeding out their closet. I found this. Um, this is came from Banana Republic and very cute for summer. Just a little navy blue, you know, cute little top. Um, another one similar, but it's striped. And this one came from Express. So, very cute. And this one, this is not a name brand. It's just, well, the brand's Eucalyptus, but I thought it was really cute. It's just like that. This is uh, Ann Taylor Loft. I thought that was really cute. Like that. And this one I haven't decided if I'm going to keep for myself. It's just so different. Uh, it's Gretchen Scott. And it is a tunic. It's like that. And it's really long to wear with, like, leggings. And then this cute little tank. Like that. And then this is just a little, like... Um, I guess like cardigan. I think I'm going to keep this for myself. But it's just like, and it's kind of a, it's like a green, like a mossy green and white color. But very cute to wear like a tank underneath of that. Um, these came, these are both cropped jeans. These came from Talbot's. Very cute. I love dressing my, my mannequin in my booth. It's so much fun trying to figure out different outfits and what looks cute. Um, and then these are Ann Taylor Loft, and they're curvy cropped. And they're just like that, and they're just like cropped jeans. A few of the things I got um, a couple of weeks ago, my husband and I went to um, a couple of vendor malls because we were looking for a table. <laughs> and I found a table. Yay! And what I'll do is I'll insert a picture right here. Okay, and so then I got this New Testament Bible, and this, I, can, I could tell when I opened this that this was really old, but you can tell by looking at that that that's old. And it doesn't have a, there's not a copyright in here for some reason. I don't know why that is. But anyway, it's just the New Testament, so I picked that up. I think I paid like $4 for that. I, I, that and then this Bible here I got at a vendor mall. So this one right here, I paid $10 for it, but I loved it. It's just like that. And it's really, really old. And I believe that this one does have a copyright in it. Um, there is some old, like, writing in this that is very, well, this page is, but you can tell by that writing And let's see here, the copyright on this one, 1850. So, 
that will go in my old Bible collection. I got a couple of these little signs. Um, this one here. I thought that was really cute. And I think I paid 59 cents for that. And this one was 99 cents. This one's pretty heavy, though. Be yourself. Everyone else is taken. I thought that was really cute. <clears throat> and then I got this sign. I'm going to have to do a little bit of work to this sign because it's kind of scratched up. I might repaint it, but I don't know. Anyway, it says, no whining. <laughs> thought that was cute. And I paid a dollar for that. Um, and then I picked up these vintage um, Disney Healthy Way in Wonderland reward stickers. I think these were like a quarter. I got these at the thrift store. And then um, Savor St. Louis, a cookbook. I thought that was kind of kind of neat. I do sell cookbooks in my booth. Um, they're kind of hit and miss. It just depends on the book. So, And all the books at my, my um, thrift store are, are a quarter. So got that. And then, oh, here's another sign. When the queen is happy, there's peace in the kingdom. <laughs> I thought that was super cute. <laughs> and then I picked this up. I'm going to try it and see. I don't know. I haven't looked on eBay to see if there's any similar to it, but I thought it was really cool. It's a man's tie, and it's um, the Andy Griffith show. <laughs> so, anyway, I thought, eh, I'll put it in my booth and maybe around Father's Day or somebody that's a big Andy Griffith fan. Okay. <clears throat> I got this little... Um, hair clip like that for a baby and I got this cool ring um, the clip and the ring um, I think were a quarter each and then I got these a long time ago but they've been in my truck and I forgot to show them they're just like not clip on but whatever those are called ear pearl earrings and then I picked up this coffee cup I thought it was cute it's kind of small but it says coffee all the way around. Uh, that was a quarter. Um, this little jar. Got that for 50 cents. Like that. I'm going to put that uh, in my booth and maybe label it as a grease holder. Like for like when you cook bacon and you save the bacon grease to season with other things. So that right there. And I got this pair of shoes. Very cute. The brand is Indigo, Indigo Soul, and I believe that this brand is sold at um, Cracker Barrel because I've got some tunics that I've bought at Cracker Barrel, and they're this same brand. But these, I don't even think these have been worn, not even been worn. Then um, I got this big vase I thought was really pretty. Got that. I paid $4.59 for that, so that will go to my booth. And then these two candle holders I thought were really different. These were $2.59 each. Very cute. And then I got this back when my husband and I were thrifting. I thought this was so pretty. It's like that, and it has these elephants on the ends. Really good shape, really good condition. And this actually came from, I don't know if you all have ever heard the store Bombay. This came from the Bombay store, and originally it was $35. Um, I paid $5 for that. So I got this for $5. It is a little coach wristlet, and I got it to resell, but then after I got home, I was looking at it, and I was like, mm, I think I'm going to keep that. <laughs> and I've already put, like, you know, my lipsticks and chapsticks and stuff in that. So keeping that one. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got this coach like that and I paid $12.99 for this um, but it's in really good shape and I thought it was really cute it would be a really cute bag for summer and there is the Creed on that then evidently the Goodwill missed this one um, because I got this one for $3.99 this is an Agner and it looks like that and um, it's in really, really good condition. I just need to um, condition it because it is leather. Um, the inside of it, I don't know if you can see that. It's got the, like that. 
um, but it has a zip pocket and two um, smaller pockets for, I guess, your cell phone. And there's the Agner on that. So there's that. And then um, I picked this up. I don't know if this will do good in my booth, but I'm going to try it. It's a Tommy Hilfiger. And it's really nice. Um, the top part is leather. Um, oh, there's a couple other things down in there. Um, but it's got two. It's got a side pocket, side pocket, and then a zip in the middle. Um, but I just thought that was really nice for $3.99. Um, and the Agner, yeah, I paid $3.99 for that. This, um, I found this at the Goodwill. And the last time I went to Goodwill and they had a coach purse in their uh, little display cabinet, they had it priced for $75. So, you know, I guess people going there. If you're going to carry it for yourself, that's a good deal. But for me to resell, I can't do that. Um, I got this coach purse. It's red. And it's got all these little hang tags. That was so cute. It's got two zipper pockets. And then it's got this that snaps open. Um... I thought that was super cute. I paid $15.99 for that. And then I got this little Tommy Hilfiger small purse. I thought that was really cute. And the inside's really nice, just red. So I think I paid $1.79 for that maybe. And then I got this little mini tobacco basket well I don't know if it's a tobacco basket or not but it's a little mini like the tobacco baskets round I think I paid 99 cents for that okay and this is the last thing I believe yep this is I do not know what this is it's like that just like that and I paid two dollars for that I got this at the thrift store and Originally, when I picked it up, I thought, oh, that would be cute to put some of the decorative stuff all around here and then maybe put a candle in the center. But the lady at the thrift store gave me an idea. She said what you could do with this is you could either do this with live or artificial, is you could line this with um, a foam and put succulents. And I thought, oh, that would be so cute. So I haven't decided if I'm going to keep that for myself as a decoration in my house or if I'm going to fix it up and try to sell it in my booth. Um, the amount of money that I would spend if I did artificial suc succulents, I would not make my money back. Um, so yeah, I'm, I may end up keeping that. But anyway, if you guys have any other ideas or if you know what that is, <laughs> leave me a comment below and let me know. <laughs> so, oh no, one more thing. I almost forgot. Oh, my bird cage. I got this bird cage. Isn't that cute? And it doesn't have a door on it, but it opens on the top. So um, I haven't decided about this, um, if I'm going to keep it this color, if I'm going to spray paint it white. Um, I know that bird cages have been selling uh, pretty good in vendor malls. And, um, you know, so I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Anyway, um, that's it. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions or would like to leave me a comment, that would be great. And also, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And I guess I will see you guys next time.